Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, Jason is back out and about and we are here back at uh, Town Hill Cemetery in New Hartford, Connecticut. And we are here with famed musician, concert violinist, Ephraim Zimbalist Sr. He was a concert uh, violinist born in Rostov-on-Don the son of Aaron Zimbalist, an orchestra conductor with the Rostov Opera, with whom he began his studies at the age of nine. In 1901, he entered the St. Petersburg Conservatory, where he studied uh, the composition of Nikolai Rimsky Korozkov, earned the school's gold medal and a prize of 1,200 rubles. Upon, and upon his graduation in 1907, the same year, he made his solo stage debut in Berlin, followed by a brief European tour. Reviews of his performances were universally good. His sentiments ranged from genius to perfection. He made his American debut in October 1911 with the Boston Symphony Orchestra. In 1914, he married noted operatic soprano Alma Gluck, who is buried right here next to her, next to him. They had two children, including Ephraim Zimbalist Jr., whom we will cover in another video. And, it made, and eventually made his own mark as an actor. Zimbalist also composed melodies, chamber music, and an opera, Landara. He won critical praise for the light operata Honeydew, which produced in Broadway in 1920. In 28, joined the faculty of the Curtis Institute in Philadelphia, becoming the head of the department two years later. He was widowed in 38. In 41, presented the, direct, the director of the institute. Uh, served as the jury member for the Moscow Tchaikovsky competitions in 62 and 66. Retired from position in the Curtis Institute in 68. He completed his last work, a revision of an earlier composition, Sara Sastiana, in 84. He continued to play the violin for every half hour, every day, until his death at 95. So let's uh, take a look around the cemetery. As you can see, this is a family plot. It's right here in the beginning of, uh, in the front of the cemetery. It's a very small cemetery, no driving allowed. Let's take a look around. Very talented family, I must say. So be on the lookout uh, for my video up of, of uh, his son, Ephraim Jr. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you all on the next video. Bye.